Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. In this lesson, we're gonna do a daisy. And in this daisy, we have step-by-step -step how to's on this reusable teaching guide. We also are using Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint and One Stroke Brushes. The colors we're using in the Folk Art Paint are Licorice, Wicker White, Moon Yellow, Citrus Green, and Sap Green. And then we're going to be using three brushes, which are the Half Inch Scruffy, the Number 12 Flat, and Number 2 Scruff Liner. All right, so we're going to turn this over. I want you to be able to see it good, but we used a little bit of gray in it so it would pop out on the white petals. Now we've taken a wet, wet our brush, laid it on a paper towel to get the dampness out of it. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pick up the wicker white with a very small touch of licorice. Now see that's too much, so I'm gonna keep coming over here till I pick up more wicker white because just a little bit goes a long way and I don't want gray um, daisy petals. Let's move it over here. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna move it here to see if we've got the color. See, that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna pick up more white and see the way the arrows go here. This is the chisel edge and we're gonna use a chisel edge, put pressure and then pull now see, that's a stripe in there, it's pretty big. So I can go right back over this. Push, lift, push, lift. So this is pressure and then lift. That's what I should be saying. Pressure, lift. And so the key to making a daisy look good, guys, is that you lift to get a really light center and not the same shape all the way. All right, so we're gonna come right here now and push, pressure, lift, pressure, lift, and they're gonna come from the right and from the left. So we come from this side, and we're gonna come over there and go from the left over. And I do have a little bit darker underneath maybe, so it's mostly a gray tone underneath. And then I'm going to put heavier white petals, oops, on top. There we go. I got really heavy with that white. So see how by practicing, you got two, a couple spots to practice with those petals to get that. And then these are where you don't push down very much at all. And these are for the buds, uh, like little buds that pop up and you might just see the side view. All right, so it's good to practice on there so you feel comfortable with that. And then we're gonna scruffy at that point, we're gonna come in here and scruffy a center. So I wanna show you because we'll do that also. Now with a scruffy brush, this is always dry. You don't wet it until you clean it. It's natural hairs and the other brushes are synthetic nylon. So I'm gonna come in here and do all the way around, but not in the middle of the paint, at the edge of the paint. And then I'm gonna pounce this like right in here, but we want to get some shading in there. So I'm gonna pounce the white edge, just one tip of that, and then come back in there and tap just a little bit of the white, just to give you depth. And then we'll take the little script liner and put a little accent underneath, all right? So that's the steps we're gonna do. And so I wanted to go do that, and then we'll come back and learn the leaf, okay? So don't let this sit here long. Be sure you wipe it off and get it all off because it will stay. There's a sealer inside this paint. So I wanna make sure that we clean it off. All right, so now I'm gonna put this right next to me. So I remember if you're out there at home painting with me, you wanna put that right here so you get the first steps and, and it helps you think it out, okay? 
So the first thing I do when I do a daisy is I decide, let's say we want the center to be right here. Okay, so then I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do a 12 o'clock, a 6 o'clock, hello, <laughs> 6 o'clock's down here, a 3 o'clock, a 6 o'clock, and a 9 o'clock, okay? Now, what we want to do then is you could put one in between. These can be tilting down and these can be tilting down. Okay, so that spaces it out and helps you have a really perfect looking daisy when you're done. Because all I'm going to do at this point is put a couple in between each one of these. All right, and if you remember, I had some darker ones at the bottom. And so I'm going to come right in here, wipe this off, and have some dark down here. And it would shadow a little darker because it's at the bottom. All right, wipe this off and then come back in here with just white and see how much paint I got on there. It's too much. All right, I do all these things on purpose to show you how to not do that. You believe me? Okay, all right, so let's come along here and put some layers, but let some of that gray show through. So remember, it's pressure left, pressure left. Okay. All right, so that gray shows up really good that way. And so let's do um, a hanging bud. So on this, we're doing little skinny strokes, remember? And we have some coming in and some going out. Okay, so what we're going to do next is look at the green leaf. We're going to come back and do the center, but I'm going to let that sit and dry a little bit. Okay, this green leaf is also done with a 12. Sometimes if I'm doing them really big, I will just get the three quarter. But right now we're using the 12 to practice. So we have sap green and citrus green, working it in. Quick and with pressure. And then we lighten the pressure and we're ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to do on here is you can see this going up. We're going to go out, back, out, back to the middle, and down or to the tip. I'm going to turn it upside down so it's easier. We can touch in the middle while we're right here and show you. And your key is to go right to the tip with both sides. All right, and I'm doing it. You can be more dramatic than that, which we will do. So just practice that till it feels comfortable. And I'm going to use a baby wipe or a wet paper towel to pick that up. All right, so let's see how this is going to finish up here. All right, so I'm going to come from the center, the daisy. My finger's not sliding on here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick up this right here. I'm going to do short little strokes. And then I'm going to pull up. All right. And then let's put a couple of big leaves in here. So we're going to flatten the brush. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put the citrus side on the outside. And I'm going to come right here. All right, let's do some more sap. So I can come out here, back, back, and then stand up. So that gives you a lot of that dark shade and the light. All the way to the point. Now I can come right in here. I usually like you to go into the leaf, but we had a lot of heavy paint in the middle, and that kind of cleans it out, clears it out there. And then I'm going to come right in here. Okay. Come right along here. 
There you go. All right, so we're going to finish this up by doing a nice center in here. So remember, moon yellow at the edge of that yellow puddle. You can do a big center. That would be pretty. You fluff this brush before you start using it because it might be squished flat. And then that makes it easier to load it and get nice pouncing. Okay, so a little bit of green underneath. You can do green or licorice, but I'm going to come in here and do the green because that gives you some depth and it goes with everything else you're doing. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z one stroke floral painting sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.